Well, Martha, meanwhile, we have a Fox News alert, a bombshell development, they say, in the Benghazi terror attacks investigation. Turns out a former State Department employee speaking out in a new report now claims that aides of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, they claim, took part in after-hours sessions to separate, quote, damaging documents before those allegedly damaging documents were handed over to investigators who were delving into the tragic attack that, of course, killed those four brave Americans, including the United States Ambassador Chris Stevens. Doug McCoy has the very latest on these new developments and what it means. Hi, Doug. Hi, Eric. You know, with a Benghazi Select Committee scheduled to begin its first hearing this week, members are going to want to probe this information deeply. It is powerful. Investigative reporter Cheryl Atkinson writing in the Daily Signal reports that a former State Department official, Raymond Maxwell, now retired, is blowing the whistle on incendiary accusations against Hillary Clinton and her staff. Atkinson reports, and we're quoting here, Hillary Clinton confidants were part of an operation to separate damaging documents before they were turned over to the Accountability Review Board investigating security lapses surrounding the September 11th terrorist attacks. Maxwell learned in 2012 that Clinton staff gathered during a weekend in a State Department basement room to separate these papers. He went there himself, uninvited, and asked an office supervisor what they were doing. Quote, she told me, Ray, we're going to go through these stacks and pull out anything that might put anybody in the Near Eastern Affairs front office or the seventh floor in a bad light, says Maxwell. He says seventh floor was State Department shorthand for then Secretary of State Clinton and her principal advisors. I asked her, but isn't that unethical? And she responded, Ray, those are our orders. Well, you might recall that Admiral Mike Mullen and Ambassador Tom Pickering, who headed up the Accountability Review Board, said last year, quote now, from the beginning of the ARB process, we had unfettered access to everyone and everything, including all the documentation we needed. Maxwell's information, now public for the first time, cast some serious doubt on that. Eric? All right, Doug, some wonder if this could be a smoking gun of a potential cover-up. Well, certainly we'll hear much more about that. Yeah. Thank you.